In response to this viewer question, I'm going to show you how to do split screen video using CapCut. Tap the plus sign to add your media. You can add videos and photos to the same project. By default, videos are selected. I'll tap on photos and add a photo. I'll tap the check mark in the upper right hand corner and then tap on add. Next, I'll go back to the main timeline, scrub back to the beginning, and tap on format. And choose 16 by 9. I recorded both of these video clips at the same time on my wide and ultra wide cameras. The photo shows you which one is which. To do split screen video, you need to add something called an overlay. So I'll go back to the main timeline and tap on Overlay and then Add Overlay. I'll tap on Videos and select my first video clip. I'll tap on the circle in the upper right hand corner and tap on Add. Overlays appear below your main clip. Tap your overlay to select it. This will allow you to move it into position. I'm going to long press and drag it next to my photo. Like this. You may have noticed that these clips have audio. To remove the audio with the overlay selected, I'll tap on audio and then volume and move the volume slider that appears down to zero. This will remove the audio. I'll add my second overlay now by tapping once more on add overlay and choosing my second video clip. Just tap on the circle in the upper right hand corner of the clip and tap on add. I'll need to turn down the volume once more. And then I can move it into position by long pressing on the selected clip and then pinching and zooming to make it fill the remaining space. Now the audio has been removed from the clip I just added. That looks great. Now I'll play the clip to see how everything looks. The two video clips are side by side in split screen format. Can you tell which camera is the wide camera and which camera is the ultra wide? Let me know in the comments below. To export your video, tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner. Once the progress bar reaches the right hand side of your video clip, the export will be finished. As usual, don't interrupt the export in any way because if you do, you'll have to repeat it so that the video exports properly. Keep the app open and don't lock your screen. Tap on Done and the export has now finished. You can find the completed clip inside your camera roll. Here it is. Notice the photo and then the two video clips side by side in split screen format. I use double take to ensure that all my video clips I use in split screen tutorials are the same length. If you'd like to use double take, you can find a link in the video description below.